Using flashcards in med school is one of the most efficient ways to consolidate your memory on topics you've read so far in your personal study. It can also be really helpful in group studies and interactions. In this video, I will teach you how to create flashcards using Chagility. Just stick with me to the end. So right now, I want to talk about using ChatGPT to create flashcards. By the way, do you know what flashcards are? Uh, this is actually a JIF I got online. Maybe you've seen maybe a student or one of your colleagues in class. They will have a kind of a, a, a collection of different um, cardboard paper. And then they will write out questions in front of the cardboard paper. And then behind the cardboard paper, there will be answers to that question. Those are flashcards, actually. So you can have a number of them. These are an engaging way of learning. So maybe you're in a group of, you read with um, different um, students, group study. You can actually inculcate flashcards in medical learning. So you can write out questions and then the answers at back. And then you can do it in form of a game. So this was a GIF kind of explaining that in case you've never seen what a flashcard. So the, the girl right here has a question written in those different card box. And then behind it, you have the answer to the question. So let's create a flashcard uh, right now. Let me come to uh, ChatGPT up here. Okay. So... It's actually direct. Create five flashcards relating to the topic brachial plexus. And you have to understand the more specific you are in charge of it, the better it is. Okay? You can never use up your being specific. Just keep giving it more info and it will adhere strictly to it. So let's say I don't just want it to be random flashcards. Uh, let there be the two clinical questions involved okay okay also include the answers of course just talk to it like your friend and that's how i've been using chargivity for the past few months right now the answers and then let's type on okay so bro come up with what we have let me see what we've got there but have you got ChatGPT? Of course, it's doing it already. Flashcards usually come in bits of questions and answers. Okay, so what is the original breakout blazers? The answer will be at the back. So you can use this to create your game. People usually struggle with coming up with flashcards. Just ChatGPT, you can create hundreds of them with just a click. Okay, so and of course, it will involve some clinical questions as well as I explained. Can you see? Here is a clinical question. What is the common cause of injury of brachial plexus? And then I'm sure what is the clinical manifestation of So the more specific you are, the better it gets. So I can tell it what I want and it would actually do it for me. You know, how about we even go further and ask ChatGPT to um, recreate this in form of a table. Let's have it. I have it in a table format. I feel with a table, this will be easier to track and then it's doing it already. So the flashcards are getting converted into a table format. So we can then decide to even copy this table, paste it on maybe our notepad or maybe our Word document if you're using a laptop and then you're good to go. So you can see the ease at which you can come up with numerous things with the aid of this AI tool. Okay, so you can have your flashcards in a string format and you can also have it in a table format and uh, yes there will be answers of the questions i can easily keep track of it so this is one of many other things you can pull off with chat gpt so in the next video we'll be going to how you can use chat gpt to create true or false questions it's actually a very direct one it's going to be a short one as well for now thank you